<clears throat> okay, so let's look at the heart of the reading here. Okay, we do have the moon card. Okay, so something is either going to need to come to light that's been hidden or in the dark. <clears throat> Excuse me, or there are some secrets here, um, Sagittarius, that you are holding on or in you know, suspecting of. So maybe you're suspecting that someone um, is hiding something or maybe yourself is hiding something. Maybe you're not sharing your true feelings. Um, that sort of thing will definitely clarify. But right next to this, um, this is affecting a love decision. Okay, so whatever is being withheld um, or is hidden um, is pertaining to a love situation. This is a love decision, okay? Um, so maybe for some of you, you are contemplating on making a decision um, when it comes to love. And this is what you are hiding. You're hiding the fact that you're trying to make a decision. Maybe you're trying to make a decision between two um, particular partners. Um, but this t this lover's card could also speak about twin flame energy. So there might be someone that you're in connection with um, that you feel could possibly be your twin flame. Um, but what I'm also seeing again, right on the other side of the moon card is decision. Okay. Once again, um, you know, being blinded, um, by making a decision or trying to figure out what is the best decision here. Um, but we know that this is pertaining to a love decision based on what is on, um, the next side of the moon. So I feel like for some of you, this could be the fact that you're needing to make a decision between two particular situations, maybe love and another type of area in your life, or this could be two different individuals here. Um, let's look a little deeper. So what needs to happen in this situation, when we're looking at the Seven of Cups, this could be confusion, or this could be meaning that there's several options, okay? Um, so there is some confusion here um, because we do see that someone here is trying to make a decision um, two times over. So there is definitely some confusion here um, with the Seven of Cups being present. And the Eight of Pentacles um, talks about, you know, working on something or through something. So I get the idea um, that this confusion definitely needs to be worked through. Um, based on making a decision here okay but for some of you it is that you do have some options here and because you have some options you are prompted to make a decision and work that option out um but definitely get to the point where you're cutting down on the confusion because you've made a decision between two different um options here okay Again, we'll, we'll clarify even deeper. Now, the outside energy here of the Four of Pentacles. So there is someone around you that could be considered selfish, or this could, person could just be hanging on um, too tightly, okay? Hanging on too tightly to you, to the connection, um, that sort of thing. Um, and there is a need for rest and recovery, okay? So maybe you're feeling like, um, there is an outside energy here that is just holding on a little too tightly and you're feeling like you need to take a time out um, from this particular relationship or this individual. And maybe that is the decision that you're trying to make. Maybe you're trying to uh, disconnect from one particular person only to reconnect with another. I do see with the Knight of Wands, there is some action here. I do feel like um, there is an, another energy that is trying to come in, or this could be the same energy. This person is um, that is holding on, even though you are trying to take this time out and have some rest and recovery away from the connection um, and really go within and restore yourself. This person continues to pursue you, okay, and is continuing to come forward. Um, and, and wanting your time and attention. So again, take a further look at that. Um, so before we look at the outcome, let's just go ahead and clarify. Now, I will let you know that at the bottom of the deck, I do see the Three of Cups, okay? So this is third party energy. So like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is a decision between two different individuals and I do feel like there is two different energies here. 
Um, so this could be the case for you. Um, maybe you feel like this is vice versa. Maybe you're dealing with someone that you feel is caught between yourself and another individual and you're wanting this person to cut out the confusion to make a decision between you and the other person and really um you know make a choice so that you can you know work past this work forward to this um maybe this person on uh, this other individual if this is the case you feel is holding on too closely to the individual that you're interested in or holding too closely to you someone um in the outside um relationship here the outside um energy is someone not wanting to let go um holding on rather tightly and um maybe you feel like if it's for your partner they have someone that's holding on um and you know this person just keeps coming on strong here but definitely i see for for some of you there is a third party situation so regardless if it's you that is um caught between two individuals and you're having them make the decision or if you're dealing with someone that is dealing with another individual this is third party situation now um I strongly believe that this is third party and I know that you guys hate to hear that and of course I hate to see this okay Sag um, but for some of you if this isn't third party um, you know this could just be you know celebrating making the choice here um, there needs to be a celebration or this could also mean that someone here maybe the um, the secret that they're keeping is that they are you know going out and drinking and partying um something like that and they don't want you to know what what they're doing or maybe this is what you've been doing and maybe this is why you don't want to hang on to the connection anymore because you just you really want to be free you want to be single you want to be able to go out and mingle with your friends um that sort of thing but i strongly feel like this is a third party situation but let's go ahead and clarify here and again however it resonates for you you know these are um messages from um you know energies that i'm picking up on but i feel like the collective um somebody here is caught between two different individuals okay so why is the lover's card here spirit let's just clarify the lover's card here all right so we have the knight of wands <clears throat> so this is action okay so this is needing to make a decision rather quickly okay um there's someone that is rushing in or has rushed in um to this uh equation here so this person is prompting you regardless if they're doing it intentionally or if this is something now that this person you know is in your life there's something that it, there's an urgency to make a decision okay and i think it's because um something is going to come to light here okay and i think this is why the urgency is here but let's why is the moon card here yes okay here it is again three of cups um the the hidden thing is the third party situation so definitely needing to make a decision sag because um, you know, someone is moving in rather quickly. Um, you might be afraid that this could be exposed about this third party situation. Okay. And you're, you're definitely needing to make a decision here. Okay. So either this is you that needs to make a decision or you're feeling like someone you're dealing with. But I, I really feel like it's you, Sag. I feel like you're torn between two people and you're already in a connection. Um, yeah that's what i see here that's exactly what i see um let's go ahead and clarify um i don't really have to but i'm going to go ahead and clarify the seven of cups um and the eight of pentacles please clarify the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles please oh lord yeah things are about to be exposed 
Yes, King of Pentacles. So yeah, um, this is, you know, needing to be generous here, okay? Um, really needing to be able to give one person all of yourself, you know? Not, I feel like <clears throat> you've been generous in many different aspects to many different people or the person you've been dealing with has been rather generous okay has a lot of things obtained so therefore giving a lot um you know giving here and there and everywhere um so i do feel like this is you know um there is confusion here because there are so many options okay and that needs to be worked out that needs to be worked out and a decision needs to be made now what i am seeing here in the um, future position here i do see the ace of swords this is mental clarity okay so sag um it looks like in the near future this could be in the next you know couple of weeks months or even years forward there's a mental clarity that definitely ends up happening here um really needing to look at um, things from a perspective of the four of wands. What makes you happy? What is it that you truly want in a relationship, in your life? What makes you happy? Um, what makes you feel complete? What makes you feel free? Um, and also being free, okay, to explore the thoughts of what you want and need, okay? Okay. But then also we have the page of wands, which is expressing, okay? So not only do you need that mental clarity, but you also need to be free in expression. You need to get clear in what you want and what you need. And you also need to have the freedom to speak what it is that you want and need, okay? So let's be clear here. Um, if this is happening to you, you definitely will need to speak up and let this um, mental clarity take over um, your mindset and say, hey, do I really want to deal with this? Do I not want to deal with this? You know, this person's got me in a third party situation. Um, this is something that I can't deal with. And I would like to no longer be a participant. Um, or if this is you, you know, really getting mental clarity to decide what it is that you want. Why are you in a third party situation? Who is it that makes you the happiest? You know, what does love mean to you? And what, what do you want in your life? And how do you want your life to, to unravel here? So being very clear with yourself here, because I feel like there is a lot of options and a lot of confusion here. Um, let's see what the Romance Angel deck has to say about this situation, okay? Yourself and this individual or individuals. Um, but ultimately, you know, you're definitely with someone. So regardless of who's doing what, who's zooming who, <laughs> um, let's see what is, what is the... Um, the outlook for you and this individual let's see here all right keep an open mind all right so it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations all right so we do see that down here with the lovers card this could be twin flame um, I look at this as twin flame I don't look at this so much of soulmate I look at two of cups as soulmate um, but to each its own maybe you have been dealing with this person and there is some real love here there is a connection and you feel like they could be your soulmate but you're not really sure um and that's why you're keeping your options open um maybe some of you are afraid of this connection okay but you know you have to consider that your soulmate may differ from your usual type so maybe this person is totally different from you and a lot of times that's what um happens is you find someone that um you know, is an opposite of you in certain ways to allow you to see what it is, um, you know, in the positive and the negative scope of yourself, okay? So maybe for some of you, you know that this connection um, with a particular person is a soulmate connection. Um, maybe you're already in connection with someone and the other person that is, um, coming in or has come in in the midst of this relationship maybe that person feels more like a soulmate to you and that's how we got into a third party situation again you get another card that 
that signifies soulmate energy here. This says this could be the one. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right. So this is a message for some of you that, you know, the person that you're already with, you know, is the person that you're supposed to be with. Um, so however this resonates, um, wow, there's just a lot of messages here. For some of you, you've already been in a connection and you were kind of bored with it or maybe you were happy with it but then somebody came along and it was like wow i really connect with this person and i feel like this person could be the one okay um that sort of thing now all in all um heart to heart conversations need to be made okay um it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other right and that goes down to um you know making a decision so there does need to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations here um, and separation, okay? Can't make this stuff up. Um, there is going to be a separation in some way, shape, or form. Somebody's going to have to go. Somebody is going to want to go. Um, it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you, Sag, if you're in a third-party situation, one of these particular people you're going to let go of or maybe you'll let go of both until you make a decision or if there's someone that you're dealing with and you find out that they are in a third party um, situation or have you a part of a third party situation there is separation in the horizon okay so i do see that very very strongly um let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle that kind of sums up this mental clarity um, expressing what you want what freedom and love and harmony looks like for you and really getting clear about that and really um, being able to express that let's let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to say with that being your future outcome okay so I do see you getting mental clarity I do see you expressing that um, again, heart to heart conversations, um, and just getting a little stronger with that, because I feel like for some of you, you're just not, it's like mom's mom is the word. Like you're not really speaking out what it is that you are going through, you know, what you want, what you need, like needs aren't being met because you're not opening up your mouth. You know, that old saying, closed mouths don't get fed. So for some of you, you're, you just haven't spoken up, okay? Um, let's see, um, what is the overall, the overall message here for the outcome of Sag? Give us some advice, please, on the future outcome spirit, please. Give us the eyes to see and the wisdom to know, okay? Got two cards here, both in reverse. Okay, you got chopped wood and observer. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm so curious to see what this is going to say here. All right, I always like to read right out of the book. 42, 42, 42. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to figure out what part of the message I'm going to read. Okay. All right, so I've been prompted to read this portion because there's so many different parts of, um, of this particular card. Um, but it says that... Um, Nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and hardships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. Okay, um, you are prompted to hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space pick up socks tell that dumb joke and leave space to breathe okay the work of your relationship right now is very simple just be present okay um but also what you need to be aware of is that um it says that are you 
an armchair astronaut. Do you dream with wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you've, after you've begun to take incremental steps, okay? Take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Okay, so what I got out of this, I know I'm rambling. I, I had to read two different parts of this card. Um, so chopped wood, okay? So some of you might be bored in your day-to-day -day tasks. So there hasn't been a lot of, you know, hand-holding or staring into each other's eyes, um, you know, date nights. The spark may have been gone, okay? And this is might be how this third party situation came about okay but the other part of the message is that it's time to stop dreaming okay and come into reality so some of you have found somebody else um or know that the other person has found somebody else and you're living in this um non-reality existence that this isn't what's going on and that things are going to work themselves out well something needs to be done here okay it's time to clean this up chop the wood get to the heart of the matter um and decisions need to be made here okay so the observer is the next card we're going to address in closing let's take a look at this 